so it has quite a prominent brow and the, the cheeks are incredibly flat and they flare out to the sides of the face as they curve around the skull. And when we put them together we see that it has this massive jaw that the, the two jaws together sit well forward of the face and that's really unusual. Certainly for a modern human, it's a very ancient feature. These bones aren't modern and they're not meant to be around at that time, but yet they are. Fourteen and a half thousand years ago, southwest China was released from the grip of the Ice Age and filled with lush forested basins teeming with life. This was the world of the Red Deer Cave people. Theirs was a land of the oldest and most isolated mountain peaks, the deepest valleys, and the biggest rivers of all of Asia. It was a landscape that had an indelible impact on its people. Could this hotspot of human diversity have given rise to isolated groups that look so different? What's actually led to the unusual features in the Red Decay people, we simply don't know yet. But one possibility is that it was the development of a population that was isolated, that had particular environmental conditions, maybe a particular kind of diet required stronger jaw muscles, which modified the face. That's a possibility. There could be environmental features which change the, the shape of the skull and, and the body. Could the Red Deer cave people simply be modern humans who have morphed back into more primitive looking beings because of something in the water? In evolution, we call that a reversal. It's unprecedented in human evolution. There are no other examples that I can think of of any human group that was isolated for tens of thousands of years, and then suddenly its anatomy emerged after that time to look like ancestors of hundreds of thousands of years ago. In my understanding, in my experience, it runs counter to our understanding of seven million years of human evolution. The problem for me is that if they're modern human and they lack so many features, so many characteristics of modern human, so if we say, okay, maybe they're early, very early modern human, very yep. primitive modern human, if that's the case, then why, are, why aren't they 100,000 years old? As why Darren and G ponder the puzzle of the Red Deer cave people, other scientists offer their own explanations. Chris Stringer and other people suggested could be hybrid. I think the red deer cave finds are extremely important. I don't think they represent a distinct species from us, but they really do document the variation in modern human populations in the last 50,000 years. 